Hey everybody, I'm Ebony. This is Ebony's Creativity. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. Today I will be doing another furniture makeover and it is this piece that you're seeing here. Um, I got this piece relatively cheaply and as much as I think it's going to look great when completed, I cannot keep it here so I will be trying to resell this one. So right now I'm just zooming in and letting you see the areas that are damaged. It's not really bad on the body at all or on the drawers, but on this top part, there is a lot of gouges and damage and places where something looks like it's eating up the wood here. I don't know. That looks like a chemical of some sort spilled on it, but um, overall, not a bad piece at all. So if you'd like to see how I give this piece new life, then just please keep right on watching. I forgot to say, here is the mirror. So that big dresser came with a mirror. Um, and then I just removed all the drawers and the hardware. And they even gave me the hardware to hang, to put the mirror back on. So that would be good. Um, excuse my kitchen, it's a mess, but I'm trying to do laundry and do two dresses all at the same time. So. Um, I just wanted to come back and show you the drawers with the hardware removed and then the mirror. So now this is what it's looking like and I am just going to go ahead and start fixing the top part. In this clip you see me working with the Men Wax Wood Filler. I said in a previous video and I will say it again, it's not my favorite product. but it seems to get the job done so I am just filling in those areas that I showed you in the initial clips that are very jagged and need a lot of attention where there was gouges and stuff in the wood so that's what you see me doing here and here are some close-up images of everything all prepped and ready for the next part which is sanding. I can't stress enough how important sanding is when you are making over furniture pieces. It is the most important part because you want everything to be seamless and as good as new, particularly if you are doing this for resale. You want everything to be smooth and as seamless as possible. Alright, so here we are on this one at the end of the first day and it looks rough but it's fully cleaned, fully smooth, just needs a good coat of paint, two good coats of paint probably. So it took me a while to get all the prep work done on this one but it is finally done. And so next I'm going to be painting her and doing a little work on the drawers. I didn't get to do anything to those today. Um, so yeah, this is where I'm at. Filled in all these areas. Make sure these are completely smooth. They look two-tone, but they feel very smooth. And yeah, so the prep work is done. On this body part at the end, the big body part um, at the end of the first day, tomorrow will be the drawers. Um, and I will be painting this part and that should do her because I've already got hardware for her so yeah this is where I am right now just try to give you a few views so she is thin and clean she looks dirty but clean it's just a little ashy so I'm going to I just wiped it down with alcohol so I'm going to finish for today because I'm tired and I will be back at her I think she will be finished tomorrow yeah I'm pretty sure so just one more day working on her and here we are on day two where I have sanded all of the drawers and I'm sorry I got a late start on filming this day so I didn't get footage of that but it went really quickly 
and I didn't really put much effort into it. And in this next clip, you see the finished drawers. So after I finished sanding, I went right on into staining. And it went on really pretty. I love the color. Here's the stain that I'm using. It's Chestnut by Minwax. And it's a really beautiful color. And I think it will really make that white pop. So I think it's um, really pretty. And after two coats of stain, then I'll be ready to go ahead and paint the body of the dresser which is what you'll see in the next clip. All right, so after two coats of paint, this is what the body of the dresser is looking like. And the paint that I used is Waverly White. And I think it looks really good. The areas that I had to pay special attention to with the wood filler seem to have turned out really smooth. And you can't really detect them underneath the paint. So I think it turned out really great. Sorry about the lighting on this clip. It's dark outside though. Here is my little spray painting inside hack I have this little foam cooler and so what I'm doing put a piece of foil because the foam will melt the fumes from the spray paint will melt it so in here I just have my pools and they should be dry so I'm able to show you but that's what they look like so all that's left to do is reassemble everything. I'm so excited to show you the final product, but I do want to remind you to like, comment, subscribe, and that sharing is caring. And without further ado, here is the finished product. I hope you think it turned out as well as I do. I think it looks really good. Um, I've seen a lot of people doing the two-tone furniture look, so I decided to give that a chance here, and I really think it looks great. Some buyer will be very happy with this. Um, I'm showing you the distressing details and I didn't want to do too much but I think that it looks really good. So this does have a top coat of polycrylic on it and it should be very durable and I think it looks really good. So once again I want to thank you so much for watching. Request that you subscribe to my channel and leave me comments of what you would like to see in future videos. Thanks again for watching, please subscribe to my channel, stay tuned for a few still images of this, and make sure you click at the end of the video on the end screen so that you can watch more of my furniture transformations, thrift hauls, my chit chat videos, or whatever else that you may find of interest on my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by.